Hi all, in this video we are going to discuss about uh, Secure Endpoint Security 7.6 installation. If you don't have the setup file, you can download that from www.secure.com forward slash secure minus product minus installer. I have the setup file with me, I am running that and extraction of files taking place. It may take a few minutes and we can have one wizard over here. Using that, you can click on next and proceed with installation. Now here, we need to accept the end user license agreement and privacy policy. Just enable the checkboxes and click on next. Yes. Now we are moving into one prerequisite check dialog box and here we can see that uh, uh, IAS, Internet, Internet Information System, is not installed and now we are uh, installing that. Just click on install button and it will install the Internet Information Services. So the installation is in progress now. It may take a few minutes. Once we install IAS components, we can move to the next uh, stage of installation. Right, here we have successfully installed the IAS and now we are moving it uh, next again. Yes, this is the stage where it is asking for proxy setting. If you are using any proxy, please specify the details over here, then click on next or else we can continue without proxy. Now this is the section where we need to specify MySQL that because we are using MySQL for database management operation. If you have uh, the uh, MySQL 5.6.42 setup file with you, then you can use that or else download that and use that zip file. Just browse it over here and continue with your installation. Yes, we have browsed it and now we clicked on next. File verification is in progress. And it is asking us for to choose uh, EPS server type. We need to choose master as we need to install for the first time and we need to activate and using that we need to control the clients and the secondary servers. We are choosing master server. Clicking next. You can choose the path where you want to install. Then next. A pre-install scan will uh, take place where it will once again check for the memory uh, for the virus infections and the uh, prerequisites uh, for installation. Uh, it's in progress. It may take a few minutes to complete. All right. Now system components have been verified. We are moving into next uh, stage. It is asking to provide the server information where you want to install this. Uh, so basically I am selecting this machine where you can specify either its uh, domain name or computer name or IP address. So you can uh, choose the one required and the port numbers. You can even alter that. Now here we need to specify the authentication uh, credentials for server and for client. Different passwords you need to enter. Then click on next. Yes. As we use uh, MySQL, need to provide the credential for that, username and password. And click on next. This is a summary for the installation. Click on OK. Uh, the copying uh, of application files taking place and this is the stage where we install all the components of endpoint security. Right. It's in progress now. It may take some time. Then you can have one readme data over here. You can just verify that once again. You can see uh, the other options, uh, register endpoint security, configure update manager, then delete report setting. Now we are moving into the activation wizard where you need to enter the 20 digit uh, product key over here and then click on next and submit it to activate the endpoint security product. Thank you.